we are back. Part three of the Cochise College CIS 120 Excel project. And this is the subtotals feature, really a, a business intelligence feature. We're on the subtotals worksheet and we've got a um, whole bunch of revenue numbers here uh, falling into different categories. We've got different vendors in different categories. What we're going to do first is we'll go ahead and highlight everything. Uh, just hit the select all button in the upper left hand corner and then we're going to go ahead and use the sort and filter feature. We'll go ahead and just do a custom sort and we'll go ahead and sort by uh, category in this case and you'll see why in a second. We'll sort it alphabetically from A to Z and our data is now sorted according to category. We've got the activities category, we've got the hotels category, and we've got the retail category. Okay, okay uh, so the next thing we'll do is with everything selected still, we'll go to the data tab and we're gonna work our way over to subtotals. Now what the subtotals feature does is, as you can imagine, it will give us some totals. And what we want to do is at each change in category, we want to use a specific function. And that function this time will be the sum function. Add the subtotal to the amount category. And uh, since we have no subtotals there right now, nothing will be replaced. We'll have some summary uh, below the data, so we'll kind of see how that plays out. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so what we've done here is for all of the uh, vendors that fall into the activities category, we've got a subtotal for all of them. For all of the vendors that fall into the hotels category, we've got a subtotal for them as well. And then lastly, a uh, subtotal for retail as well. So you can see how this would be used uh, in business and can be considered a business intelligence tool. So that is uh, the end of part three for the, the Excel project. <clears throat> and you're done with the entire project at this point. You would need to save the file and go ahead and submit it to your instructor.